Iron Man back again, and we are playing some WWE 2K17 for the first time in a while. I think we played this like when it first came out, but that was about it. Uh, we are going to be playing some uh, WWE 2K Showcase Hall of Fame DLC. Now, this game didn't originally have a, um, a showcase mode, but once they... It, put the DLC in here they added it so we'll be playing it See, we've got Sting from Clash of the Champions 88, I believe, which means you'll have his attire once you finish that. Sting from Halloween Havoc 1998, which means you'll have Wolfpack Sting, which is what I've been wanting for a while. Fabulous Freebirds versus the Von Erics. Fabulous Freebirds versus. Um, Cactus Jack and Diamond Dallas Page, if I remember right. Big Boss Man versus Big Show from Armageddon 2000. Jacqueline versus Ivory from from SmackDown in 2000, I believe, and a dream match between The Godfather and Papa Shango, even though they're the played by the same person. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, Clash of Champions. Singles match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Bonus awarded. Sting 88. Ric Flair 88. Clash of Champions 1 Arena. And WCW World Heavyweight Championship from Welcome to both of my viewers.
previously on Team Boat. What the hell is that? I don't know. It's like you're looking you. I'm not going to spill this apart. On us. Two's not enough right there. I know it needs at least three. So who's next? Why does there have to be a next one you got here? Thanks for the host, guys. I know they're auto, but you know. Sting's been making a name for himself ever since he showed up for tonight. He looks to prove that he's not only the future, but that he's the right now, too. The power, speed, and agility that this man has put into one complete package. It's just awe-inspiring, King. Yeah, you're right. This, this young man giving the daunting task of trying to defeat Ric Flair tonight. And you have to wonder if he realizes how big this moment truly is. I mean, he may have the physical tools, but you got to wonder if he has the mental acumen needed to beat someone at the level of the Nature Boy. And that's right, Cole. I said mental acumen. Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole were not present for this event, damn it. champion looks incredibly confident as always heading into this all-important title defense king of course he's confident Cole. rick flair is undoubtedly the wrestler of the 80s but he may very well be looking the future in the face and he may not like what he sees the gold belt Introducing now, the challenger, from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 260 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sting! And now, the world's heavyweight champion, five times over, ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 200 He said world's heavyweight champion twice, Chick. One thing I'd like to point out is this match will have a special time limit of 45 minutes or one fall, King. Yeah, and you have to think that that can only play to the Nature Boy's advantage. I mean, seeing that he has made his name in 60 minute long matches. Oh, I put it in some warm water in the tub because I didn't get it out on time. It's probably going to need the water switched out. And you know, King, despite the way Ric Flair talks, I can't help but think he has a great deal of respect for Sting. And with that in mind, it'll be interesting to see how the Nature Boy approaches this matchup. Well, you know what, Cole? I fully expect Nature to approach this like any other match. I mean, look for him to dictate the pace of the match. And when the smoke clears, look for him to walk away with his championship reign still intact. Seriously? Action outside. 
Too fast, my ass. Come on now. King is not undoubtedly go down in history, and not just for the action we're witnessing here tonight in Clash of the Champions. And also going on right now on pay-per-view is WWE's WrestleMania 4. And at WrestleMania, a new WWE champion will be crowned as 14 superstars compete in a single elimination tournament. Of course, most people have their eyes on Andre the Giant to win it, but don't sleep on Randy Savage. Spoiler. That was such a hard fall. That could take all the energy right out of you. I believe you're right, Cole. He may be done. Of course I'm right. Rick Flair is known as the dirtiest player in the game, and given that his manager didn't hit ringside to help him, he might have to rely on some of those underhanded tactics if he wants his hand raised here tonight, Cole. Yeah, the referee is really going to have to be on his game here. Don't be surprised if we see Flair poke Sting's eyes or deliver one of his signature low blows. Oh, big DDT. And look at this, Sting looking to overwhelm the champ with his power and his speed Ooh. advantage. Whoa, look out! Over the top goes Flair, and Sting's in control. And Flair's in big trouble out there on the floor. Oh, he's begging off. I don't blame him. Yeah, but Sting, look at taking the fight to Flair. Watch out! Oh, into the post, shoulder first. Oh, a huge mistake by Sting. That could be, that could be big, big. Boy, the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He's almost guaranteed that his opponent will need assistance returning to the locker room after this match is over. All you got to do is look under the ring. I bet there's a stretcher. Oh, close line! And that takes Flair off his feet. You know, nobody takes a beating quite like the nature. A quick reversal by Rick Flair. Oh, did you see the way his head planted into the floor off that pile driver? Sting is making his moves. Nice, Sting is finding the right moves right here. Look at Sting making his moves. When this guy's on, incredible counter. The champ counters, and you see the results. Oh, man, what a shot. Hey, we're getting classic Ric Flair right here. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. What a reversal. In here. He's... I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, come on, really? We may have discovered his favorite move, you think? <laughs> he seems oh. to use it often enough. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. You're right about that. Cole, call your one friend. What a forceful attack to the back region. Ah, oh, Stan gonna let the puck away. Submission move coming. 
Oh, look at the Scorpion Deathlock. Oh, man, that puts a lot of pressure on that back. And look at Sting is... He's coming out strong. There's the Stinger oh. Splash in the corner. Flair's in big trouble, but you know what? There's, there's not much time left in this match. Yeah, the clock ticking down as Sting is going to set up oh. Flair for the Scorpion Deathlock. And he's got it clipped in. Is Flair going to tap out middle of the ring? This is amazing. Flair is going to lose. We're going to have a new champion. Yeah, okay, look at the time. The time. The time. Is Flair going to tap out? The referee calls for the bell. Did Flair tap? I can't tell. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee mm. has secured the decision from our judges, and they read as follows. Our first of three judges has scored the match for the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Our second of three judges has scored the match for Sting. Our third and final judge has scored this match a draw. Therefore, still heavyweight champion of the world, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Flair is still the champion, but Sting has nothing to be ashamed of. Next match. Try with the you want to sit down with me and figure out what you want. Sure. First, I'm going to pop some popcorn. Who says I'm popping popcorn for you? You. <sighs> you. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Because I'm evil. Disappeared. Well, thanks. Don't want to drop that. I'd be lost without it. When I was your age, I didn't even take vitamins. Now I'm choking down a cocktail pills three times a day. But I do what my doctor tells me because I trust him. Trust is a commodity our family holds very high. of WCW Monday Nitro and on Thunder. The challenger represents the red and black of the NWO Look Pack from Venice Beach, California. This here he comes, truly one of the finest performers ever in sports entertainment. And you know, Ken, you talked earlier about all the amazing talent of WCW. 
Hall, Nash, Warrior, DDP, Goldberg, the Giant, and these two rank right up there. No, you're right, and they have nine world championships between them at this point. Nine! Bret Hart is a five-time champion, while Sting is a four-time world champion. This rivalry has turned into a bitter war up until now. Neither Sting nor Bret Hart have been interested in obeying the rules, and I don't expect tonight to be much different. No, and I think a lot of it stems from their signature moves. I mean, the sharpshooter and the scorpion deathlock. They're basically the same move, and I think that has been the root of the anger that Bret Hart has towards Sting. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. Staying with a great offensive show. Reversal. Can he follow up? 
Sting is making his moves. Sting not only has to win the night, but he needs to show Bret Hart up, given the way he's... You can feel it! Here he comes! The fence on! He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Really? So really, with the knee drop. Sorry. Those knee drops, they will do you in. Watch it! Could this be it? I think so. Oh, come on! And once again proves why he is the excellence of execution. Was there ever any doubt? Mm -hmm. It's on several that are like, none that work. This rivalry has turned into a bitter war up until now. Neither Sting nor Bret Hart have been interested in obeying the rules, and I don't expect tonight to be much different. No, and I think a lot of it stems from their signature moves. I mean, the sharpshooter and the scorpion deathlock. They're basically the same move, and I think that has been the root of the anger that Bret Hart has towards Sting. Oh. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. Uh-oh. Things could get real interesting out here. It's really interesting when they battle outside the ring. Careful what you wish for. It could get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. King the temper tantrum, Fred Hart has displayed in the weeks heading into the nighter. So very uncharacteristic of the hitman we've come to know over the years. Oh, come on, Cole. You don't have to like his attitude, but you do have to respect what he can do inside that ring. I can't help but marvel each time I see him compete. He whipped that one. <laughs> Well, earlier tonight, Cole, we saw two brothers go at it in one-on-one -on -one action. And, of course, Bret Hart is very familiar with battling his own flesh and blood. That's right, King. Growing up in the famed Hart family, Bret is always squaring off against his brothers in the dungeon. But perhaps his most famous family rivalry came against his brother, Owen, in WWE. Right on the tailbone. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. I think you're right, Cole. This should be yes, I'm aware Sting didn't go to the top rope in this match, but so oh well. I'm a new Oh, what an elbow drop. You can almost see the wind leave his body after that. Ooh. Yeah, that's the one. That's the turn. Bret Hart and Steg are both so evenly matched. They both have a great knowledge of wrestling, and both are about the same size and weight. Right, but they definitely have different mentalities at this point in their career. Though both were born to be winners, though. Someone really should check out. I mean, a maneuver like that takes your career and it just flashes it before your very eyes. Yeah, that wouldn't be a very long flash for you, Cole, but this guy's in trouble. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time Bret Hart makes the cover. Just making his presence felt there. Paying attention to the back now. That'll have you worry about long-term injuries for sure. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. In the sports entertainment scene of the late 1990s, right before the turn of the millennium, there's so much at stake, so much money, so much exposure. Yeah, and the egos are bigger than ever before. I mean, the paychecks are bigger than ever before, but you have to perform to get those big paychecks. And that's a lot of the reason why it has turned so ugly between these two. He's in full-on attack mode now. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, a huge move by Bret Hart. Now that's a finishing move. This thing might be all over. Much more of that, and he's not going to last long. Uh -oh. We've seen the hitman. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. 
Here's the pin. Title on the line. And that title may change hands. Uh oh. He's in position. Ready to strike. Oh, uh, here we go. We know what he's going for here. He's had enough. This could be it. Oh, uh, you're not going to last long here. Now it's time to fight out or tap out, King. Come on. Really? of execution. Was there ever any doubt? After a hug. This rivalry has turned into a bitter war. Up until now, neither Sting nor Bret Hart have been interested in obeying the rules, and I don't expect tonight to be much different. No, and I think a lot of it stems from their signature moves. I mean, the sharpshooter and the scorpion deathlock. They're basically the same move, and I think that has been the root of the anger that Bret Hart has towards Sting. In the sports entertainment scene of the late 1990s, right before the turn of the millennium, there's so much at stake, so much money, so much exposure. Yeah, and the egos are bigger than ever to get the those big paychecks. And that's a lot of the reason why it has turned so ugly between these two. Same size and weight. Right. But they definitely have different mentalities at this point in their career. Though both were born to be winners, Cole. Camel clutch! He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hole. He's got him up! Of course. So much on that, that he escapes the hole. If his back wasn't hurt before, it certainly is now. And it's going to be hurting for a while. Time to go for something. Well executed, Dog Man. Oh, don't get up. No. Your it wasn't that long ago. Too late, my ass! This is all the supposed mutual no, respect that he and Sting oh, shared for each other. You know what, Ken? Bret Hart's a liar. Are you I'm kidding me? And I can't believe that you would think that of oh, Bret Hart. Just because he's a friend of the NWO, that doesn't make him a liar. This night has truly lived up to its name, Ken. Mike, looking at it here. I think this is it. First time for everything, I guess. Come on. Just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Oh my! An explosive suplex! Wait a minute. It's not over yet. He's still got some fight left. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. He's clawing his way back into this match. When he gets going like this, oh, I'm on. Back, might be looking to finish. But I'm going to take it into stick here. And give that man's lack of consideration for the rule book. October's down. Championship on the line. No. We're terrified of, um... A little bit It's good to do that. He was able to reverse that. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Huh. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. And look at this, Bret Hart going to continue Whoa. on the attack. He understands, King. He's got Sting in a vulnerable state here. He's got to continue the attack. Now it looks to me like Bret Hart wants to get outside the ring where he knows he can't lose that title. Yeah, and it can also inflict even more damage. An already stunned Sting. Right hand by Hart. Dangerous situation out here. What's Hart going to do? Oh, my, oh God. my God. Ribs first to the barricade. 
Bret Hart is pulling out all the stops right in front of the referee, but it is outside the ring. Yeah, and I believe Bret Hart will take a count-out victory happily here. Trying to pull himself back into the ring. Is he, is he gonna make it? Look at Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. Ooh. Big blow across the chest. I don't think Sting has any idea where he is right now. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, but the Hitman knows exactly what he's doing. Sting is just, he's in survival mode. Oh my God, an elbow right to the official. I think Sting Referee got the that official was the, Mitch it was hard that Hart got the leg drop on the ref. What, what is, Bret Hart has lost his mind. I can't believe that. Oh, okay. the ref. Okay. I need him to sit there. Just got taken out. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Executed perfectly. Uh, he set it up. Oh, the hitman is so exact, so precise. He's measured him for that dangerous sharpshooter. Look at that, it's locked in. Yeah, the rep is down. Sting gets out of that one. Nice move. And now Sting taking it to Bret Hart. Stinger splash. Oh, wait, wait. I think, I think Sting hit his head on that turnbuckle. And Bret Hart. Huh? The excellence of execution, look at it, take it, man, and he's got Sting's back, oh my oh. god! A disgusting assault! Bret Hart was, oh! Man, man, that's three strikes, Sting should be out. I think he is out, cold, but so's the official. <laughs> I think he is out, cold, seen, but then again, so I've never seen behavior cold. like this from Bret to Hitman Hart. What's he doing now? Oh, god, all the ropes with the bat driven into Sting! There's no way Sting's gonna get up from this. Yeah, yes. And now look at Bret Hart, he's gonna try to revive the referee. Sting has not moved. And Bret Hart looking for the patented oh. sharpshooter. The official's back on his feet. Sharpshooter locked in. And then you believe that the is gonna right win there. like this, Gold? Sting is out, and the official's gonna call this match.